we're here at Gleber Engineering in Stoke-on-Trent and this is... Tom Cresswell. <laughs> and Tom, you run this machine shop, don't you? I do, yes. Okay, we're going to take you on a 10-minute tour and see a lot of the parts that you're making. But why have we got the car here, Tom? Uh, basically, my, uh, my dad and myself race this car. We run the business together and we race the car together and motorsport is a big passion of ours. And uh, Formula One and motorsports are big sectors for this business. So. Our cameraman as well loves motorsports, so the pair of them yeah. today have been talking a lot. Right, let's go and have a look around okay. the machine shop. So, um, let's start off here. Now, this is your Doosan machine, but there's yeah. something pretty amazing as to what you do. We've, I've never seen this before in the scope of work so close together. Yeah, well, we, we spec this machine. We wanted a large uh, three-axis machine with a two-axis table on, so we can basically do, you know, as you can see here, we're doing some fairly large aluminium plates. Uh, we run these in the day shift and then on the night shift we're making these very small components on the five axis or on the two axis table little titanium bevel pinions so i'm fascinated because you're making such large parts to small parts in such a very short space of time we are yes yeah well that, that's that's what that's what we do here basically we, we make a, a wide range of components uh, we offer a wide range of services and right okay in terms of um, batches, what, of course you do one-offs, but what's like, you know, do you do long production runs here? Uh, really, a hundred off is a lot for us. Okay. Uh, we tend not to do uh, anything more than a hundred off, to be honest. It's all small batches, um, high precision, uh, yeah, low volume, high precision, that's it basically. Right, okay, so we've got a couple of Doosans here. Let's just go down here. Doosan links as well. So yep. this is your turning section, isn't yes, it? Yes, it is, yeah. And then I noticed that there's a... Uh, Seeky machine, a Hitachi Seeky here. Now, when yeah. did you get this machine? Because of uh, course they're now that, DMG Mori. Yeah, 2001 we bought that machine and it's uh, yeah, it's done an enormous amount of work and never gone wrong, never missed a beat. It's absolutely incredible. Right, okay. And what types of parts are you making on here then? Uh, basically small turn components, so uh, small gears, small shafts, those small pinions that we saw on the other machine, they're turned on there uh, oh, initially. Okay. Um, yeah just small turn component, components basically. Right, okay, and then you've recently purchased, this is your latest machine? Uh, yes, it is. Yeah, and this, this is, is your a, Colchester machine. Yeah. Why did you go for this? It's for the one-offs, isn't it, really? Yeah, basically, we, you know, a really important part of our business is the prototypes. Uh, a lot of our customers want us to make one before they, they want us to make a batch. Um, so uh, we do a lot of shafts, drive shafts, half shafts, that sort of thing, and this machine was, was perfect for that, basically. Perfect, right, okay, so got quite a few uh, turning machines. Now this is your milling section, it is, isn't yes. it? So um, can we have a look at some components? Is there anything here that we can take a look at? I mean, this one looks absolutely fascinating. Yeah, so this is a three axis bridge port machine that we put a, we put a nick and table on it a few years ago. And so we're producing uh, these steering arms from those billets in the fourth axis. Wow, okay. So, so this is the obviously the, the billet and then I mean, is it one up? Like yeah, from, from that to that is one operation, and then we've got to do some finished machining around here and some finished machining on the end, obviously. But, um, yeah, three operations, and that's a fairly complex part. Fantastic. Right, and your bridge ports, you've got how many bridge ports? So you've got three? I've got three bridge ports, uh, including this one, which is our first ever CNC machine. And how's that treating you? It treats us very well. That's why it's still here. <laughs> I guess Bridgeport has such a wonderful name in the industry as well, yes, don't they? Did, yeah. um, right, OK, let's go. Um, here we go. Mazak. Is this your only five-axis machine? It's our only f full five-axis machine, yes. Yeah, we bought this in 2012. And some of the parts here that you're making are these? Yeah, these castings. So that, that, that casting came in as a sample. So we uh, laser scanned it, uh, modelled it sent the models to a uh, pattern makers and we've had the castings made and now we're going to machine them. Right, and how are you finding your Mazak? A fantastic machine, absolutely brilliant. And uh, your operators, you know? Uh, all world class, obviously. Have you found, do you like working at Glebe Engineering? I love it, yeah. What, what is it you like about working here, about people surprising you on camera? The boss. Oh. That's a very, very good oh, answer. Fantastic. Well done. There we go. <laughs> He'll have a treat later, won't we? We'll pay him <laughs> later in chocolate bars. Right, OK. In this machine shop as well, you've got a lot of manual machines. So what, yeah. why, why, why go for manual and why have so many? Uh, because, uh, well, we, 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 do, we produce a lot of gears and shafts um, and uh, it wouldn't suit the business to have a CNC gear cutting machine. You know, we like, you know, like I say, we do small runs and these, these machines are absolutely perfect for doing small runs. They're easy to set up, they're very reliable, extremely accurate. Um, and uh, yeah, it just, just suits us to, to, to have the, these style of machines for, for, the, for the products that we do. 
Tom, how are you finding the industry at the moment from your perspective um, in terms of skilled engineers? You know, uh, uh, have you got apprentices? We have got apprentices, yeah. Um, yeah, we've got two apprentices. And uh, yeah, finding skilled people is always, is always a difficulty. Um, but um, yeah, not enough young people uh, see this as a career, I don't think, uh, basically. But, um, you know, it is a really great career. Well, at least you're bringing people into it as much as you can. Wow, look at this part. Tom, can we have a look at this part? Yeah, so this is uh, this is a gear shaft. So um, we turn it here. It's got something dripping out at the end of it, but uh, yeah, we turn it. Uh, we actually mill these teeth on because these are going to be these are going to be gear ground later on. But we uh, yeah. Yeah, turn. talk us through the processes then. So it's turned, milled, splined, uh, and then we send it out for heat treatment. And then it comes back. We grind it, and then it'll go out for gear grinding. And then that's the job complete, basically. Wow, I mean, there's there's so much that you've got here. Um, you've got some EDM machines as well. Um, yeah. Some wire erosion machines. So you've got some Charmi machines. Yeah. Tell me about these. Yeah. So uh, yeah, these are two quite old machines again, but um, yeah, very reliable. We use them every day for cutting splines, and uh, we use it as well to relieve the milling section and to, you know to, to take some material off big jobs. And but reliable. Very reliable. Yeah. I'm going to ask this gentleman down here. Do you like working at Gleave Engineering? Yeah, yeah, it's good. Yeah, what do you like about it? It's just a good place to work. Nice, clean. Nice and clean. Do you feel like you can be creative here at a company? Do you feel like it's different every day? Yeah, yeah. Every day is different. You're always making something new. Perfect. There we go. We'll pay you in chocolate later. <laughs> right, OK. Um, and this is the inspection department. Yeah, this is our inspection department. So all the parts end up here. Um, we've got CMM, two shadow graphs, uh, height gauges, and then a raft of plug gauges and bore gauges and thread gauges. This is a CNC CMM. Right, so your CNC uh, CMM, how are you finding that, of course, you know, in terms of, you know, it's CNC, so it's faster, quicker? It is, yeah, it's faster and quicker, but it's essential for the sort of work we're doing, you know, when producing uh, 3D parts to models, um, and we, you know, we use it for comparing to models, and that, that's what our customers need, so. And the faro arm in the far corner? Yeah, we, uh, we don't use that for inspecting, but we use it for reverse engineering. All the stuff on that table there is, um, is, is uh, motorsport components. So um, a lot of customers, they've, they've got no drawings, but they've got a race car and they've got some broken parts and they send them to us. Uh, and we, uh, you know, we laser scan them, CAD model them, we specify bought-in components and, uh, you know, and su supply them with finished goods, basically. Okay, and just a few more questions then, Tom, because we will kind of have actually literally done full circle because we're back at the car now. Um, future for Glebe Engineering, what are your thoughts? Um, well, carry on as we are doing really. We, we don't really intend or plan to get much bigger than we are. We're just going to carry on renewing the old machines uh, and just improving our services basically. And, uh, uh, you know, our sort of priority is to, uh, is to, is to make, make complex parts and, and, and small volumes and we don't, we don't want to get into production work or anything like that. So, so you're kind of happy where you are. An yeah. investment in machines, you know, what would you could maybe consider as the next investment? What do you, what, as an engineer, as a director of the company, would you start going into? Uh, our, our next two investments are definitely going to be a, a larger CNC lathe and a, uh, and a five, another five axis, uh, full five axis uh, milling machine. And what technology is out there that you're kind of looking for? Are you trying to make things quicker? How, how are you going uh, to? To be honest, we're, to expand, yeah, we're, we're looking for. We're, we're basically looking to you know, expand our expand our capacity a little bit because um, you know we are so busy. Yeah, and are you trying to make things quicker and faster, or are you just is everything working? Yeah, well obviously, yeah, everything everything you know we're, all, we're always looking to improve cycle times and uh, and bring down bring down cycle times and you know improve deliveries and, and cost. Well, I've heard that you're a very very good driver, so I think we should uh, have a go. Maybe right. not today though. No. <laughs> <laughs> Oh,